Hi, so this video is supposed to be um, an overview of the OKD cluster that I have set up. The hardware that I'm running is a PowerEdge R620. It has 32 virtual CPUs and about 128 gigs of RAM. Um, obviously, we have the OKD cluster itself, which has three control plane nodes and three worker nodes. HA proxy uh, acting as the load balancer for the uh, API server running on the master nodes and also the ingress router running on the worker nodes. IPS server, um, I'm using IPS server just to provide uh, DNS resolution for for all of my virtual machines and also as an LDAP server. So all of our virtual machines are going to use network interfaces that are uh, created by OVN. So let's look at the OVN configuration. I think it's okay. So we have a logical switch uh, that has multiple logical switch ports. Uh, so let's say a particular VM is going to use this uh, port. So it will have this MAC address and uh, this IP address. And it's connected to um, this port of the logical router. Uh, here we have the connection from the logical router to the logical switch. Also, this logical router needs to have a port uh, for granting these virtual machines access to the internet or to the local net and then the internet. Uh, so that is achieved by having a public interface or a public port. Also, uh, any traffic originating from this switch uh, towards the local network has to be SNATed, uh, and that is done by this SNAT rule that we have here. Um, and this IP address is actually um, it it falls into the subnet range of my local network. Um, I mean outside this OVN network. Uh, so this 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 entire network could be thought of as a virtual network that um, only exists um, within a particular VM or in my case my server. Great, so now let's talk about uh, how does one go about provisioning all of these virtual machines. Now a lot of the lot of times when I look for a tutorial online I see people um, manually creating these VMs and then doing stuff inside it um, which in my opinion is a bit tedious what we want to do is automate this process uh, using a tool like Terraform uh, so let's take a look at the Terraform templates that I used to provision my virtual machines uh, let's take a look at uh, this OKD master so here we have the Terraform template uh, that was used to spin up three uh, control plane nodes for the OKD cluster. Uh, each of the nodes has, each one of the nodes has 16 GBs of RAM and uh, four virtual CPUs. And so these are the MAC addresses that uh, the virtual machines will be assigned. Uh, and these are the OVN interface IDs that these machines will be assigned. Uh, it's not this template works, but I think <laughs> I could have done a better job uh, fixing these lists. Okay, anyway. Uh, so one interesting thing to note is that uh, the provider that I'm using, uh, which is called the libword provider for uh, Terraform or Terraform provider for LiveWord. Okay, whatever. So um, it doesn't have support for directly assigning these. Uh, basically, it does not have support for OVN. So instead, what we have to do is create a XSL template and then attach that template to the virtual machine. Uh, since this is using LiveWord, the XSL template would ha will have the 
um, necessary parameters that are required to attach this VM to our OVN network. Uh, I think I have some. Okay, there we go. The nic.xsl. So this is an example of the XSL template. Uh, obviously, these these values are uh, put here as variables because these are going to be replaced by Terraform. Uh, but yeah, as you can see that we have um, so each of these virtual machines is going to end up on the OVS bridge called BRINT, which is our integration bridge. Uh, we also set some parameters like uh, we set the type to open v switch and the interface id obviously which we get from the list here oh yeah we also set the uh, the interface name uh, so let's take a look at the interfaces that we have Okay, so this is the open v switch uh, configuration or setup. So as you can see that we have uh, two bridges. Uh, first is the integration bridge. And uh, this is where uh, all of our VMs are going to end up. Or all of the uh, OKD cluster VMs are going to end up. Uh, and this is the provider uh, bridge which has access to my external network okay I forgot to mention one thing is that uh, you, you do see a couple of OVN interfaces that are under the PR provider and that is because uh, so I think this one is for the IPM machine uh, which has one IP address for assigned to it from my local network uh, and I think this is for the uh, the HA proxy node so that uh, the machines are not only accessible from within the OVN cluster but also accessible from outside the OVN cluster. So for example, um, any device on my local network can have access to uh, these two machines, specifically the IPA machine and the HA proxy machine. So that's about it. Um, uh, I, I as of now I, I do have a functioning OKD cluster up and running uh, I think it has been running for like 15 hours or so and I, I don't see any problems with it uh, uh, yeah I think I have covered all of the stuff that I wanted to cover okay good night